Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. Let me thank you for this uh, question. You see, when you have been boxed left, right, and center by one party, you, you, te you, you tend to react. The APC in River State has been very, very peaceful. You can investigate, you are a journalist, find out how many cases we have against the PDP. We were frustrated into filing an action after several cases were filed against us. We said, look, these are internal affairs of the party. But since the judiciary was descending into the arena of uh, politics, um, um, we got frustrated and we said, okay, if that is what they want, let us also file a case. You know, the party, the PDP in River State has been struggling to intimidate us. Unfortunately, they cannot succeed. You saw recently, they even brought the Chief Justice of Nigeria to eat dinner in government house. Just to, just to, to, to frighten us, to say, look, we already have the judiciary in our pockets. And we resist it. We, we refuse to be cowed by the, um, uh, the, antics. By, by the antics. antics uh, uh, and the intimidation of the governor of River State, who is a member of the PDP. He should settle the internal affairs of PDP that is bugging his party. We don't even know which party he's in now. <laughs> and he's deploying the resources of River State on frivolous and vexatious matters in another party. Why can't he concentrate on, uh, on, on his own party? It is, this is how it is that our ordinary Awara defeated him the last time and he had to buy judgment. We are aware of all of these things and we are saying allow democracy to thrive. That's right. Allow us to do free and fair election. Right now he's wasting reverse money on the appointment of 200,000 SAs. When we enter government, we will probe him. Okay, okay sir. You understand since the, this very judgment in the state to questions. One, what is the way forward from today? Secondly, there are a lot of uh, <laughs> orders <laughs> here and there. And um, one of them, I think, hinges on um, you not going out to Executive do advertisement order. within the state mm -hmm. and without going through pro a proper protocol, maybe due processes established in the state. Now, in 2019, um, when Governor Wiki started using the judiciary to, um, to intimidate us, we held a protest, which is called in law picketing, outside the presence of the court, when we said we were protesting that Wiki should leave us alone, that whatever we are doing in our party, we are the internal affairs of the party. Wiki sent thugs to the court, this vandalized the courts, and because he has access to the national media, turned it against us. He has friends in the judiciary. He's a, a life a bencher. I don't know how many cases Wiki has done to make him a life bencher. How, how much law practice he has done in his lifetime to make him a life bencher. But again, like I said, corruption speaks louder than words. So um, in 2019, the courts punish us unjustly. Today, even today, the courts refer to the case of Omar and others against um, uh, our party. You understand which case was de determined not on the merits at the time we are going into elections but on technicalities that deprived us of the opportunity of running elections in 2019 the court stopped us even from campaigning a judge of the federal high court stopped us even from campaigning and we respected the courts so this time around again when the uh, pdp went to court we said look our voices are not as loud as the voice of the governor of River State, who, who deployed the resources of uh, River State frivolously on um, different um, uh, 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 campaigns. So we said, let us respect the judiciary. 
and pursue this case to the uh, very end. So that accounts for why we are not um, very loud. We are, you can see that we've not been vigorously campaigning. Um, so uh, pardon us, now that the courts uh, are, are, have said that, uh, that we are at liberty to carry on with the internal affairs of the party, we will now, we will now campaign very vigorously. And you will see that Rivers people are very, very happy with the APC. Um, the other issue of um, of uh, executive orders, you know, again, these are the issues um, of abuse of office. Um, in 20, um, 2011, Wike was the director general of um, the Rotimi Amici's campaign for a second term. I am the one who provided venue for the campaign office. It was in a residential area. Wike was the director general. Today, because Rivers people are re rejecting him, he is bringing out different executive orders. Oh, people should not open offices in residential areas. There are, if you go to GRA, uh, GRA is semi-commercial. There are offices, there are banks, there are uh, company premises, there are churches, there are restaurants, there are lounges, bars, clubs, everything. It is a commercial area. Now, they also have an office in that GRA, campaign office in the same GRA that is stopping others from using. Again, Wiki went ahead to stop people from using um, um, public, places. public places. All these are signs of, of fear. The governor knows that reverse people are rejecting him. This election, this ne next year's election, will be a referendum on Wiki. We don't even know who his candidate is because I hear EFCC is looking for him. Let him come out and face the code of conduct. When you see a man who lies even with his age, what will his offspring be? We don't know Wiki's age today. There was a case against him in INEC. He filed different ages in the document that made him governor. So you can imagine that he will be protecting a fraudster as governorship candidate. Let him come out and campaign now. Let him go before the world to say yes. The way I am walking free, let him also walk free. The man who wants to govern us, let him walk free on the streets of Portacourt. I want to live on a comment for the comment session there. I want to tell me how I want to see the matter. Whether he good or he bad. If he good, make want to let me know. If he still bad, I want to let me know. Because I need to bring up who give Una will be my people where they yeah no na follow me shook mat put whether it they good or it they bad. So if it they right, wanna still leave on a comment below. If it they bad, wanna still leave on a comment below. Una remember say everybody gets freedom of speech.